Welcome to our new game show, Is That an RNG? Loot boxes in Fortnite. Drops of entities in Minecraft. Spinning wheels on Las Vegas casinos. Maybe the next room of Roblox stores? The four of them might be different, but they are all RNG. But what is an RNG? It's in the name, RNG. Short for random number generator, a random number gets generated to roll a random item, an event, or a map. When you spend your life savings on the loot box, the game generates random numbers, each tied to a specific item. That is how devs can add common dump items and the ultra super mythical items that require 900 days of playtime or $20,000. Pick your poison. But now, RNGs have taken a bit of a turny turn. Instead of a full game with several mechanics underneath, what if we take the RNG mechanic and make that the only gameplay? No one would waste time gambling their life away. Wait, what's that? The idea for this video really came because of Ben's casino, but it was taken down, which is such a sad day. Looking at the videos though, it's just a bunch of RNG machines put together, you bet some amount of currency, rub your hands for two times extra luck, and hope the game's fake randomizer will give you mercy. There are some interesting names here too. Five Nights at the Slots? The sea slots? I can't believe I missed this masterpiece. As of now, there seems to be another one popping up. It's called Las Vegas at Home. If you want to play it, now's your chance. Disclaimer, I heavily discourage gambling. Visit at your own risk. Now the golden standard for standalone RNG games nowadays is Souls RNG. I lied. That would be the Pet Simulator series because they go for your wallet directly. I don't really understand this RNG though, it's so basic. Bare bones. Uh, okay, I mean, you got a name tag, an aura, and I guess that's it. There's a lot of friction in this game. Tired of clicking? Join our silly group. Inventory slots, join our silly group. Okay, I lied again. You actually had to get cash for that. Billions of buttons that are overwhelming for new players. There's this workshop here, and I still don't have the rare tag, but at the same time, I keep getting things that are even less common. Oh, this fan art is nice. The game... Hmm. I'm kind of hungry for fish right now. Wait. What if we could have a fishing game without the fish. Meet Void Fishing. In this game, you fish without the fish and the ocean. Just the void, which sounds very fishy. You receive a random item with chances. Plus, it doesn't intimidate me with 900,000 buttons. Though, ew, I still need to join the group for auto rolls. I think it's time for a tour. Okay, so this is where everyone pretends to touch grass. This is a normal Roblox mine, I don't see anything wrong with it. A muddy center island with a special looking tree. Ooh, there's a fruit. Ooh, it, it gives me extra luck and efficiency. Sure postponed, give me 10 minutes. A few inches later. Okay, so this is what... Okay, so this is what ancient Greece looks like. The beautiful rainbow, clouds, and this is hell, and this is the Minecraft end dimension. Tour finished, but not all gambling has to have RNG. Sometimes you're at the mercy of physics. This is Roblox Plinko, or rather one of the 200 variations. Simple game with simple rules. Balls to the center, lose money. The more your balls get to the sides, the more you earn. I just realized that sounded so bad. But something about how this game is set up allows you to win 100% of the time. Whatever you do, don't bet all of your money on one ball. It 
just as easy as a horse. Wait, what's that? Oh no, what is this? Plinko, but instead of balls, you're using horses? Oh dear. Now this game is just peak Roblox. It's double gambling, since it's not just Plinko, but we need to hatch better horses. Also, I'm pretty sure horses don't come out of eggs. Oh dear, my horse is sloppy. This is not normal. What is this big portal? Oh, oh no, oh no. Nope, we're getting out of there. Phew, we got out of there. That was traumatic. So let's find something peaceful. Tycoon RNG. Oh, this music makes me want to sleep. Okay, so there's a tutorial. So far, it just looks like we skinned Souls RNG. Interesting. So I roll for parts instead of random auras and cosmetics. So I can grow my Tycoon Empire. And here's a mechanic that will give every Souls RNG player a heart attack. Free auto rolls! What I really liked about this is that, though it's an RNG standalone, it has some sort of gameplay to it, though it's Roblox, which is not a very high bar. However, it's already ahead of many RNGs. I ended up returning to this game and it may or may not have caused one of my friends to invite two more of his friends. That's how good it is. Now, you may have wondered, well, if RNG is just picking random numbers under the hood, what if we have an RNG focus on numbers? Well, that's what I did months ago, mostly to mock on RNG as a concept, and we're going to revisit it. Again, ignore the white box, it's only visible to me. There are tasks you can achieve for gifts, some server challenges, and then you roll for beautiful, captivating numbers. And because I love colorful lights, you're getting a party. Look at how it becomes alive. It's not really meant to be an RNG killer, mostly for fun, but if you want to play it anyway, you should definitely do that. The gambling world in Roblox is quite weird and strange. Some are good and some are... eh? I do know that some of them are extremely manipulative, like Preston and his big pet simulator X9969, whatever. I guess if you feel some weird peace in gambling, as long as it's not eating into your wallet. Game on.